I was just refreshing. Anyways, if you're watching this video, you're sitting in your new Vion chair. Yay! So how are you feeling? Does your neck feel nice and loose? Is your back feeling great? Does your wrist feel relaxed? Um, how are your legs? Are they nice and rested? If not, I think we might need to make some adjustments. That's where Zach comes in. Uh, that's when Zach comes in. Hey guys, I'm Zach, and I'm thrilled to be here to enlighten you and to lift you from the bottom up. Zach is way too into this chair, but he's the only one that knows everything about it. This glorious throne for the office worker doesn't just change postures, it changes lives. Zach might have been a bad idea. If the Vion can save just one more back, my life is meaning. Whatever, Zach, let's just get to the doohickeys under the chair. Doohickeys? This is a highly innovative chair and anybody who has it is highly valued by their employer. Looking at the adjustments, we're gonna be focused on three main areas. We're gonna be focused on your legs, your back and your shoulders, and your arm. They call it the chiroprac chair. No, actually they don't. Vion chair is no joke, people. We're in our office chairs more hours in any given week than we're in our mattresses. So it's so important that we find a chair and we know how to work it. It gives me total mindfulness. I spend a lot of time online shopping. That's a shocker. So when I refresh my browser, I refresh myself. Yeah, that refresh thing might just be a tailor thing. You've got to be kidding me. All right, let's get started and look at some adjustments on this chair and get refreshed. Now, wait a minute, you're not Taylor. And I see that you shaved your mustache. So I guess Holly's here with us now. Basically, everything under this chair is gonna be a knob or a paddle, and our job today is to make sure that you know how to use all of them so that you're comfortable where you're seated. So let's get started on the most important adjustment, which is gonna be the seat height adjustment. So it's gonna be located on the right side of the chair, and as Holly is reaching down, it's gonna be this paddle attached to the column. So this is gonna adjust the vertical height of the seat pan, and we wanna make sure that we're not too low and we're not too high. We really wanna start with a 90 degree and open it up from there with additional adjustments. So the next most important adjustment that we're gonna focus on is the lumbar adjustment. And since you're not Taylor, we're not gonna do a full refresh, but we'll kinda of half refresh you over here. And the lumbar adjustment is gonna be this area in the back. And when you think about your back, everybody's got a natural curvature in your back. And the goal of our lumbar adjustment is to really get this pad into the proper spot where it really feels comfortable for you in the seated position. So grab your hands, adjust that up and down, get it to the right spot, and you are good to go. The seat pan adjustment is gonna be the next most important thing that we really wanna focus on. So this seat pan right here is gonna have the ability to move forward and back. What this does is it accommodates the different heights of population. And by reaching your left hand under, engaging the paddle, lifting it up, and scooching forward or back, this will engage the seat depth adjustment. One thing to keep in mind is that when you're adjusted, you really wanna keep some space right here to ensure that the seat front is not cutting off your circulation on your legs. Next adjustment we're gonna focus on is the back angle adjustment. What this does is it gives Holly the ability, whether she's seated upright or reclined, to select where that back is actually hitting her. So on the left side towards the back, and it's kind of in an odd place, is this paddle right here. So once you pull this up, that's gonna engage the back for Holly. So she can really pick where she is comfortable in a seated position. So sit wherever it's comfortable, Holly and then engage it. And then as she leans back or forward, that back is gonna stay at the same angle for her to support her tasks. One of the most important things to think about is the overall tension. I know we've all sat in a chair where you almost fall back or it's too hard to push back. That's a tension. So it's gonna control the tension of the back and the overall movement of the chair. So on the Vion, as Holly reaches her right hand down to this knob, it will extend out. It's got a plus and a minus on it, which will allow you to turn righty-tighty or lefty-loosey to adjust the overall tension that you want in your chair. The next area that we're gonna focus on with the Vion chair is our tilt lock. This is incredibly important as it supports the different ways that you work throughout the day. So she's gonna lower her left hand. We're gonna have a knob. It does not come out. And as you look at the knob, it has an unlock and a lock position. And as she unlocks it, she's able to freely recline, has full range of motion of the chair. But let's say for an intensive task, if she wanted to lock it, all she has to do is rotate that knob and that back doesn't go anywhere, providing her full support. 
So when we're thinking about our adjustable arm pads, guys, the thing to really keep in mind is to keep it comfortable for your body. So as we look at it, if we were to move this lower, that's gonna put more pressure on Holly's arm. If we move it up, it's gonna put more pressure on her shoulder. So general rule of thumb is you really want it comfortable, and typically that's right around a 90 to 120 degree angle there. And you're gonna be able to adjust them with this trigger right here to go up and down. By putting a little pressure on it, you can move the pad itself forward and back to ensure that it hits your arm at the right spot. And right here, we've got these levers that once opened up gives you additional flexibility with the width of the arms. So guys, keep in mind that it's gonna take three to five days to really start feeling the amazing benefits of that chair. Just stay active throughout the day and move around as much as you can. Taylor, we're not done. Taylor didn't like that Zach wanted me to do the important part of the video. I just wanted to do a quick chair demo and Zach wanted to turn it into a full featured film. Hey guys, the Vion is like a box of chocolates. There's a different setting for every posture.